STs, LTs, XLTs, what are these Ts and what do they even stand for? These stand for short taper, long taper, and extra long taper. How does a taper affect your work? Well, it affects your work in two ways. One, it determines the size of the hole when the needle punctures the skin, and two, ink deposit. To understand what I mean by this, it's first important to understand what taper even is in the first place. The taper refers to the distance from when your needle starts tapering to the needle's point. Like I said, the taper affects the size of the hole made when the needle punctures the skin, so as you can see here, the needle depth is the same for all the tapers, but if you look closely at the entry point at which each taper is at, the size of the puncture wounds are all going to be different. So with tapers and ink deposit, longer tapers do a better job of controlling ink flow, which helps reduce unwanted spread. On the other hand, shorter tapers deliver concentrated ink because the blunt taper allows more ink to flow into the skin with each pass, making them great for packing color. When it comes to lining, the taper is going to determine the line weight. Longer tapers create finer points, resulting in more fine and delicate lines. Shading-wise, longer tapers are smoother and provide a softer gradient effect. Shorter tapers are going to create bolder and thicker lines. Shading-wise, shorter tapers are blunter, so they deliver ink with more saturation. For reference, here are just three types of examples of tape tapers. We have a short taper at 2.5 millimeters, a long taper at 3.5 millimeters, and an extra long taper at 5.5 millimeters. There really is no industry standard for all these measurements as each brand measures each taper differently. So if this is something you're considering when buying needles, I would say research the lengths. Again, these are just soft guidelines. There are no absolute rules on which taper to use for what. I would say the best route is just to experiment and see what works best for you. And that concludes our three-part series on tattoo needle guides. Our last video is just going to be a short recap on everything that we learned on how to put everything together. Send this to someone who you think you could use this to their advantage or they just need a little refresher. If there's anything else you guys want to know or learn about, just leave it in the comments or feel free to hit us in the DM.